Hi, Kevin Henry here today, Cologne, Germany, at the IDS meeting with uh, my good friend and advisory board member Eric Shirley from Midmark. And obviously, Midmark has just finished a, a pretty nice acquisition. And so, I'd like to get a few thoughts from him today on the acquisition of Progeny. So, uh, tell us a little bit about it. Well, thanks, Kevin. It's, uh, it's quite an honor that I think this is the merge of two great companies and two great brands and companies that I think have a lot in common. Okay. Um, so, you know, Ed McDonough, John McLennan, they have built such a great brand so quickly, and we think it's a great marriage with the Midmark family of products. We think culturally the two companies are very similar. Uh, we have similar values, uh, similar ways of doing business. We treat people with respect, and we try and really grow great brands. So we're very excited. It's just a, a great honor to be able to announce it this week. Nice. And I know there's been a lot of questions already about what happens to the sales reps. How does this affect the reps? So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Well, we really think that our, our end user customers, the dentist and the dental hygienist and the dental assistants, as well as our distributor partners, they really want a tremendous amount of focus in the field. They want reps who understand the product lines very well. They want reps who can provide solutions, answers very quickly. They want a lot of knowledge in the field. So our plan is to keep both sales forces distinctly separate, um, let both sales forces focus on what they do best. So the Midmark guys will focus on operatory equipment, cabinetry, air and back products, sterilization products, and the progeny reps will stay focused on imaging products. Um, again, we think that the end users um, and distributor partners demand that kind of focus and that kind of expertise. Okay. So we'll keep them separate. And you and I talked a little bit earlier, really, you're not going to see a whole lot of change as far as from the rep perspective or from the dentist perspective anytime in the near future. No, that right? no, that's our plan. Uh, going forward, as far as I can see in the future, we'll keep those things distinctly separate. Okay. Now, I hope that our reps talk to each other a lot and we'll do a lot of joint meetings together. Sure. Um, we know we do want our reps collaborating and, and looking for leads together and providing solutions together. But again, we think it's really critical that the reps um, have a tremendous amount of specific product knowledge in the field. So keeping those sales forces separate, to me, is the only way to accomplish that. Okay. Yeah, I can't let you go without asking your thoughts on IDS and uh, the meeting so far here in Germany. Oh, it's a great meeting. I love this meeting. This is uh, one of the highlights of being in the dental business. You come here, it's, uh, it's so crowded. There's so much activity going on here. Um, you see new products. Some of those products never make it to North America. So it's always great to come here and see how the rest of the world kind of views the, the art and the science of dentistry. Um, I just am amazed, continually amazed, that even though dentistry um, is in so many ways common around the world, when you come here you really see a different philosophy of how dentistry should be practiced. Um, and it, it's, to me it's just very great to, to see that. It's always a lot of fun, very entertaining. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Exactly. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Kevin.